guys, Master Cory Zavir, and today we have this 2015 Mini Cooper Cooper S Countryman 04. Now, as always, this is gonna be full in depth preview of the Countryman. We're gonna start it up, get an exhaust clip, do some revs, then go on a full in depth interior review, then go on a quick walk around of the exterior. Now the Mini comes with this, you know, small round key. You have trunk release, you can unlock and unlock the vehicle from here. And you do get these chrome accents right here, which are really, really nice. When it was launched in spring 2011, it was the first Mini to exceed 4 meters in length, the first Mini to have 4 doors, and the first Mini to have all wheel drive. Even though it's a stretched Mini, it still has the handling and driving dynamics that you get in your standard Mini Cooper. Base Mini Cooper S come at $41,000 new, but our car is specced to $58,000 with chrome accents and red interior and all other options. So sitting down in the Mini Cooper Countryman. Now, if you haven't previously owned a Mini or you even sat in a Mini, it's a whole new environment if you want to say that. It's a really different car. I mean, this trademark Mini speedometer in the, in the center of the dashboard is a bit weird. I mean, you don't have that in any other car. But I mean, it's cool. It's uh, a, Mini, a Mini Cooper has that, you know, this uh, stylish and different from any other manufacturer. Now sit down in this beautiful black leather seats, they're very comfortable, even though they're sporty but they're very comfortable for long drives if you're going. Now of course we're going to be talking more about those seats later in the video. And despite it's a mini and you know this uh, compact exterior dimensions, it's very roomy right here. The, the seats are a bit far away from each other, I mean you f really feel that you're comfortable in this car. It's a, it's a great all-arounder. Now coming on to the steering wheel, you have this beautiful mini three-spoke multifunction steering wheel. On the left you have your volume commands with the voice command and telephone, Bluetooth. And then all your cruise control commands right here. Then here surrounded by the mini badge right here you have this beautiful piano black uh, trim which is right here. And all around the cabin. And then behind the steering wheel you have this small plastic paddle shifters. But as Jeremy Clarkson said in his BMW X6 review, I mean they both do the same thing. Because unlike in a normal car where one changes down and one changes up, in this they both do the same thing. Uh, it's an old school BMW paddles which are responsive, but I mean, why would you have the paddles doing the same thing? Now coming on well to the one gauge that we have here which is the tachometer, which you have a digital display of the speed right here. And uh, it's kind of, it's small and, it, and everything is small. Now, as I said, it's a bit weird, I mean, having only the tachometer right here. Now, let's start the car up. As we said, this beautiful key, you just put it the slot right here. Put your foot on the brake, and then the button to go. Countryman comes with three different trim levels, the Cooper, the Cooper S, and the John Cooper Works. Now all engines come with 1.6 liter four-cylinder, turbo or naturally aspirated. The base Cooper 
has a 1.6 liter four cylinder natural aspirated with 121 horsepower and with zero to 60 in 10 seconds. If it seems slow, well it is. Upgrade for the Cooper S and you'll get 181 horsepower from the 1.6 liter four cylinder turbo. Zero to 60, 7.5 seconds. The 211 John Cooper works, which comes with the black color and red accents, isn't that much quicker than the Cooper S with the 0 to 60 in 7.1 seconds. Now, the old Ford system, like we have in our car, is not intended for off road use, nor is the Countryman itself, but it enhances traction and grip on snow and rain and other conditions. Then, coming on to the center of the dashboard, you have your lights for the hazards, big uh, air vents for the air conditioning, you have this huge speedometer and then uh, the, the infotainment, we're going to be talking about that in depth later. Then you have this mini visual boost uh, where you have the CD inputs and all your voice commands. You have the uh, climate control, it's not dual zone in this car but it's okay. Then you have all your driving modes right here. You have the button for the traction control and what I really like about the minis, you know, they have these buttons, the airplane-like buttons that you know, go up and down, that's for locking and unlocking the vehicle. Sport mode, which, which puts it in sport and you have that exclusively in your Cooper S. You have this S badge right here to remind you that you're in your Cooper S. And then you have for the, for the fog lights right here. Now coming on to the gear shifter. You have this six-speed uh, Steptronic transmission, which is very responsive, which you can use also with the paddles. And coming on right here, you have your controls for the for the infotainment screen. Now, because it's a mini, you don't have your casual handbrake. You have this um, handle which goes up and down, and it's a bit weird, but uh, it's okay. It's a mini. Now, our tester features the responsive 6.5-inch infotainment. Now, it's a bit like the BMW, like you have here CD multimedia, like the iDrive system. Now you know a cool feature, when you turn the car on, you have you know, the fuel gauge tells you how much fuel you have in this car. You know you have this attention to detail and that's what I really like about this car. The, the details and you know this beautiful design that you do not get in any other car. And then what, what's the highlight, you have these chrome accents around the air vents as well as the door handle which give it you know more with the, with the gloss black, gives it a more uh, luxurious cabin. Now, as for storage space goes in the Countryman, first of all, you have the uh, the Jorbins right here, which I forgot to talk about this red uh, leather, which is beautiful on this car. You have the Jorbins, which fit uh, bottles of water normally, and you have your two cup holders right here. Come down to the glove box. It's surprisingly a big glove box. It isn't small, and you know how the, you have this big opening. And again, your Jorbins right here in the passenger side. Then coming on to the center console, first of all you have your small storage space right here, you know, maybe for some pens and a small phone. And uh, you can add to that, you have USB ports as well as an auxiliary input. You have this small armrest, which you can, you know, slide back. And you can open that and you get some storage out here for, you know, sunglasses and, and stuff. Now to open the trunk of the Countryman, all you have to do is press this button right here. You're gonna take it up. Cargo space isn't that good in the Countryman. Disappointing a bit. I mean, you upgrade to a Countryman from a Mini for that increased practicality, don't you? The space behind the rear seats is a mere 12.2 cubic feet. 
you get an extra one cubic feet in your standard golf. But when you fold the rear seats, the space grows to 40 cubic feet. So sitting down in the back seat of the Countryman, legroom is good. I mean, I'm 183 centimeters and legroom is plenty. I mean, I fit very comfortably in this car. And headroom is quite good. So I fit perfectly in this car. Now you can put three people on the back and you also got two cup holders right here next to a 12 volt power outlet. So that's very helpful. Now a cool thing about those seats that you have this handle right here and that you just press down and the seat is going to go down. So it's very easy you know, to, to fold the seats. So that's it for the back seat. What strikes about this car, you have these two tone colors, black on the top and you have this white all around with these beautiful gloss black rims right here. You have these 17 inch gloss black mini wheels which are really really nice you know with the with the black roof now adding to the sportiness of the car is this beautiful spoiler at the back now in my opinion the car would really look ugly without that spoiler it really gives it you know a sporty feel being you know a crossover but I mean it adds to the sportiness of the car and especially with these two exhaust pipes you know apart from each other not you know two at, the, at that side so yes, you know, we, you see the details in this car, I mean, BMW has worked really hard to give this crossover a really um, a stand on the road, I mean, it's different from any other car, it's different from any other Mini, so you know, it's, it's special, it's special that you own this car. Adding to the stylishness of the car, you have this beautiful black stripes, and again, you have this, you know, bump on the hood, which isn't that uh, showing when like right here but I mean it, uh, it gives it a, a sporty and aggressive feel and a muscle like feel. The Countryman is a stretched mini and it looks a bit like a fish from the front. No? Okay fine. The most capable the Countryman 04 and the quickest John Cooper's work is a surprisingly green option in the crossover segment. Both rate 25 miles per gallon in the city and 31 miles per gallon in the highway for manual transmission. It drops a bit for the automatic transmission, 23 per 30 miles per gallon. So guys, that's it for the Countryman. If you've enjoyed it, make sure to like and to subscribe. And if you haven't checked my review of the 2017 Porsche Panamera, you can check it by pressing this button right here. And if you haven't checked my review of the 2011 BMW 320i, you can check it by pressing this button right here. Until then, take care everybody, see you soon. Now guys, here's a bonus. The cool thing about this Countryman is that you have ambient lighting. Here, check it out.